Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I am back from nationals. It was an incredible time. There will be another video coming a little bit later on that will talk about my experience. I didn't film too much while I was there, but I definitely have some thoughts and I will tell you like my experience about it and all that such. So if you have questions about nationals, feel free to let me know down in the comments. But today we are going over all the puzzles that I came home with. And I will say, I feel like I came home with less than I was expecting, which which is good because while I was gone I also got like two shipments of puzzles. I'm definitely not lacking in the new puzzles category over here on this channel so if you love puzzles make sure to subscribe um, but today we're just gonna have a very chill casual day. I'm sitting here on the floor surrounded by the puzzles that I got at Nationals and we're also gonna go over what was in the swag bag so if that sounds good to you I hope you enjoy it and let's just get into the video. All right, let's start off with what came in our swag bag. There's not too many things in here, but the things that are in here are pretty cool. So the first thing I have here is a full-size Ibu puzzle. This is definitely the highlight of the bag. This one is called UFO Victorian Ladies. And when you look at the back, you can see the full image here. And it's just like such a fun collage puzzle. It's like if you were scrapbooking and you just put like a ton of different papers together or card stacks together. Lots of different patterns, lots of different textures, lots of bright colors. I feel like this one is going to be super fun and maybe there is like a historical aspect to it or it might just be like quirky and fun and fantasy, but I think this will be a great time. I'm not sure of the artist, but oh, Kirsten Civic. I'll try to put the artist on the screen of all the puzzles that I got. So this one, so much fun and definitely a nice surprise to get a full size Ibu inside the bag. Um, we also got just a ton of coupons I'm just gonna pull out here um, of all the different sponsors and people that were there. The next item that I got here was from Ravensburger and I finally figured out how to say it correctly. I always said Ravensburger and a lot of you say Ravensburger which is the more American pronunciation but I say it more as the German pronunciation. So it's actually Ravensburger. Um, and so I got one of their puzzles and I will say it's very Ravensburger heavy in this haul since they were the main sponsor of the event but cute little 99 piece there was several options you could have gotten this one is just like a bunch of alpacas in the alps i'm guessing i'm not sure of the scenery i don't know any information about this one because it's not on the tiny little box but i love the design i got 99 pieces super cute and compact i got this thing here which is like this little paper puzzle i really don't know too much about it but it's called paper theater there's again a few different options you could have gotten there's really no english on here so this is something that'll be fun i'll probably post it on instagram once i complete that so we got lots of little stickers this one for the u.s nationals we have la puzz which had some puzzles there that we could just do on the fly um, i got this little guy from liberty puzzles just the little eagle that they have and then I got this guy from Artifact Puzzles. Not sure what's in here, but it looks like a small little wooden guy. So those were the things that came inside the bag. But what also happened was that we were able to get a couple other freebies. So this one here is by Blue Kazoo. They couldn't make the convention, but they did send tons and tons of puzzles for each of us to get. So I picked out this one here. It's called Flower Pot. It is a circular puzzle. And it's just so bright and colorful. The artist here is by Liska Flower. And it looks like just a bunch of clay flowers kind of like jumbled together in such a bright, fun, whimsy way. I love this one. I did it in my hotel room. The quality was fantastic. And I've never done a Blue Kazoo puzzle. It's definitely on my list of brands that I want to try because their images are lovely. And they're doing a lot of cool sustainable things over there. So definitely a brand I'm curious about. I'm glad that I was able to get this one. This thing was tricky just because the color is just kind of chaotic and everywhere, but it's so much fun. It photographs absolutely beautifully and the color is fantastic. So this is a brand that I like have my eye on, need to put it on like the top of my wish list because it was really beautiful. Um, another freebie that I caught was one of the Euro graphics sprint puzzles so they had a table where there's a whole bunch of different 100 to 200 piece puzzles with different 
criteria of challenges and so there was a whole bunch of them we were doing them the whole weekend and at the end they were like if you want one of these go ahead and take it so like they were gone probably in like 30 seconds so i ended up snagging this one which is actually one of the ones i did not do when i was there so i'm kind of excited about it it's a 200 piece euro graphics it's just the periodic table which is just fun and bright and something i don't know too much about so i'm excited to do this one i have like the year graphics puzzles and it was just fun to do like the little sprints as like a little I don't know warm-up before you're doing a competition or something so I really liked doing that I think it was a good little touch something to keep us busy and also a really good thing because there were several kids there and so it gave them an option to do some puzzling too with the other puzzler so definitely loved this one and there's some others that I enjoyed which I'll discuss in another video when I'm talking about the convention itself. So next, let's go into the competition puzzles. These are the ones that I actually did when I was there and I had so much fun, lots of nerves, lots of adrenaline, um, but it was so much fun. And thank you for everyone who was supporting me over on the USA Jigsaw Puzzles um, YouTube page, but also in the Facebook group. The Facebook group was just so much fun. I'm reading your comments afterwards, so thank you so much. But I got way further than I expected. I really didn't think I would get to finals. I was hoping to finish. That was my goal, was to finish at least the first round. I did get to finals for both individuals and pairs. I did not compete for teams, and that was just incredible. I am very proud of my times. It's within the rounds of being able to do worlds, which I don't have the funds to do, but to show you the puzzles that I did and I am excited about them. So first up, we have the individuals qualifications round. I was in prelim one. Each prelim had a different puzzle and there was three different ones you could have gotten. And so I got this one here, which is called... Uh, let's see, Fiesta Time. And you will might notice this image because it's just a stock image. I think Eurographics also might make this one, um, but the image itself is really fun and there's lots of big things to go by. I think out of all three prelim ones, I'm glad I got this one. I feel like it was easier for me to do, especially easier than the second one, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, but this one, Lots of fun colors, lots of stuff to work with, and I ended up finishing it in one hour and 15 minutes, which I know for for a lot of you, that's a crazy time. Um, I did finish 33rd in my group, and so only 30, 33 actually got to final, so I was the very last person in my individuals round to actually get that position, which was really cool. Um, but I will say there are some crazy fast puzzlers out there, and I still prefer the casual hanging out, just like chilling and enjoying it because some of these puzzles I'd love to do again because I felt like I rushed through it that I didn't get to appreciate the artwork and see all the little hidden details. And so I'm excited to do a lot of these ones again. This one here, super fun, um, just lots of food. And it sounds like a really good dinner idea, to be honest. And then the next one is the one I did in the finals round, which was so much fun. I opened this one up and I was so excited because you guys know I love hot air balloons and sky. That is my favorite thing to puzzle. And look what I ended up with. This is the perfect puzzle for me. Lots of greenery, which is where I got like stumped a little bit in a few places and slowed me down. But still, I'm happy with my one hour and 19 minutes to complete it, even though I was 99th place. So I loved it. Super bright, very colorful, beautiful image. Lots of stuff to work from. Um, but again, lots of greenery, which is the, the tricky part of this one. But I liked it. It was super fun. And the artist here... I did get it signed, which is really fun that they had the artist there, which is really cool. And it is called, sorry, uh, Air Balloon Valley. So I really like his stuff. The artist, I'll, again, I'll put it on the screen, but it is Nathaniel Mortison. And I got to meet him, which is really cool. And he signed my puzzle, which is also really cool. Um, next up, we have the pairs competition. I had a partner, her name is Laura, and we, hadn't really practiced much because she lives in Arkansas. I live here in Washington and so we hadn't puzzled together for a few years and so the day before pairs we did get a chance to puzzle for two rounds uh, to practice. We weren't expecting to really again do well or get into finals because we hadn't really done it much together and some people practice like all year round for this type of thing. And we did. We ended up getting into finals. We ended up finishing it way faster than any of our practice times. So this one is such a fun image. It's called Jazzy. Um, does it have an artist on it? Greg Paprocki, which I feel like I've done something else from him recently. Um, but 
again, really fun image, lots of stuff to work from, but kind of chaotic. Like you don't have like big blocks of anything. You have like a little bit of the rug and a little bit of like the ceiling. But other than that, it's just like kind of crazy, but it was super fun. We definitely had a strategy. I'll talk about that later. Um, but I really enjoyed this one. Love the colors and the vibe of it. Like it's just like a happy time. And then the one we did in pairs, our goal again was to finish. We did end up finishing it in the time frame by four minutes, which was so much fun. Um, this image was so cute. I definitely want to do this one again because I feel like there's so much stuff in it that I didn't get to experience either because Laura was puzzling or also it was really tight quarters. So I didn't get to really like, I don't know, spread out and see the puzzle while I was doing it. So I definitely want to do this one again because it was absolutely stunning. The artist here is Demelza Hutton. And again, she was there and she signed my puzzle box, which was really cool, really fun colors. And I loved it. So that was really awesome that I was able to compete. Again, I'll discuss it more in the next video or the video where I'm talking about the nationals. Next, let's go over other competition puzzles that I just bought as well. My goal was to originally buy like all of them, but there was a couple images just that I just wasn't vibing with. So I just got some that I was interested in trying to see how my time was. So the first one that I have here is what was called Prelim 2. And this is a puzzle that was really difficult um, as a speed puzzle. So here it is. It's this guy here. It's called Plentiful Produce. Again, just an Adobe stock image. It's a lot happening and it's really hard to speed because there's yellow and there's yellow and there's like tomatoes over here and tomatoes over there. And it's just like kind of chaotic and busy. And it is so challenging that just over half of the original 100 people actually finished within two hours. So very tricky puzzle, so I'm curious to see how I would stack up in that timing. Of course, I'm not going to be doing it with cameras and lots of people and noise. It was very noisy in prelim two also in the room, so I feel like people were like waking up officially because I was in the first one, so it started at like 9 a.m. I feel like people must have had their coffee by this one because it was kind of noisy in the, in the room. So lots of reasons why this one was definitely the most challenging of all three. But I still think it's a nice, beautiful image. You know, I still think it would be fun to puzzle. Is it fun to speed puzzle? We'll see. Definitely something I wanted to explore. Um, the next one here is this guy. Uh, I think this was uh, Pears number two. Um, so this one, again, super cute image. This one is called Pets of Palm Springs. Again, the artist is Greg Paprocki. That's cool that they actually had it as the same artist. That's very smart. Um, but here it is, super fun image. We have a Dalmatian family. We have a bunch of different dogs, really fun background. And again, like the color and the vibe of this one. So I think this one would also be fun. Don't think I'll speed puzzle this one just because it was a Paris competition. I really just wanted to get it because it's super cute. So I think that would be a fun one. And the next Robin's Burger is this one here. Oh my gosh, I love this image so much. So this one is called Busy Birdies and it's by Dean McAdams, which again, got it signed, which is super cool. Um, this one here was one of the team's puzzles. In teams, they had to do two 1,000 piece puzzles within the time frame, And one was by Elspeth McLean, which I did not get. Um, looking at it, it, there's definitely stuff to work from, but I just felt like I wouldn't have the time to do it. I feel like I'd constantly be overlooking it. So I ended up just going with this one, which is so fun and so much stuff to work with. Again, I don't think I'll speed puzzle it at all. I think it was just like a fun, beautiful image. I love the different artwork because like we have this guy here who's a cardinal bird, but also is a cardinal. And then we have this one uh, down here who is like Robin Hood and he's a Robin. And we have like the really smart owl. We have um, the eagle, which has like an eagle eye on it. So it's super cute. Lots of stuff to work from. Again, a busier image to puzzle, especially as a speed round with other people. So I think this is going to be such a fun image. I, I was really excited to see the Dean McAdams puzzles in person because I feel like it's an artist that I have been gravitating towards. Like whenever I see the images online, I'm like, oh, that's super cute. Um, so they did have another one for sale. And this one I just have to pick up. This one is called Classic Tales. And it is the Three Little Pigs. Or Look Out Little Pigs, that's what it's called. But it's based off of the Three Little Pigs. Um, so that is his whole five. He has a whole collection of classic tales. So there's Hansel and Gretel. There is Goldilocks. There is, oh, an Alice in Wonderland one. See, like all of these I've seen before, but I haven't seen in person. So I'm like really excited about them. I feel like this is 
an image style I would like because for me, I love reading really weird fairy tales. Um, and so I feel like this one is going to be super fun and real nostalgic and just there's so much happening, lots of stuff to work with. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Um, and then I got two other Robin's Burger puzzles. We have this one here, which is signed by Elspeth McQueen. This is the one I did end up buying. Um, I did already own three others of hers. I happened to have them at the hotel, but she was there. I didn't have time to like go get them. So and I was just buying the one that I didn't have, which is called Happy Beads. And again, she got to um, sign it somewhere on the box. Oh, on the back. That's right, on the back. Um, and so super fun image. She has all the mandalas on her puzzles, which are really fun to puzzle. And I think this is going to be beautiful. Kind of reminds me of Easter eggs and Easter's this weekend. So I think this is going to be such a fun time. I feel like this one is going to be easier than the other ones that I've done, um, just because the... Um, patterns are a lot more distinct than the other ones that I've done, but I think it'll be fun. I really have been liking your stuff. And then I also just got this puzzle here. They had a couple new releases there, which I was really eyeing way more, but I, again, I was traveling with a suitcase, so I got one. This one is called Cozy Boho Studios. Are you surprised? Um, because I have been loving this series so much. And they had this one, and then they had another cozy glamping. It was glamping. But the one that, that that one didn't appeal to me too much because they didn't have like the person in the corner. And I don't know why that makes it seem more like a cozy line. I don't know what it is. But anyways, this one's super cute. Very boho chic. Love the blue kitchen. Like that one looks super cute. Nice studio apartment. Lots of different artwork on the walls. Love the window scenes. And most of the cozy line, I'm like, I'm wanting to be the person in the image for me. I could see me being there as just like a chill vibe, but there definitely needs to be like tea or coffee in the image. But um, I really like this one. And they also had at the, they had like one of the new circle colors puzzles and I wanted it so bad, but I got there too late and I missed out, but I'm sure I'll get it in the future. Um, and then finally we do just have a small little puzzle here. So you will see a future video on this. It's something that I'm going to be exploring a little bit. Um, but this is by The Puzzle Co. And I talked about them previously because I met them when I was at Puzzle Jam South and I met their daughter at this convention. And so they finally launched their new um, puzzles for the blind or visually impaired. And they have this table where you can like be blindfolded and try to do the puzzle. And not many people got far. Some people got maybe two pieces together. And so I want to explore this topic and try it out. So we're going to do a video eventually of me trying to do this puzzle blindfolded and see how I do. She gave me some tips and tricks. And the furthest she's ever seen is the border being done. And that took them two hours. <laughs> um, so this might be a, a struggle, but I think it'll be a really fun, fun experience. So that's what we're thinking about doing. Um, and then this one is just a little thank you from her. I did purchase the, the puzzle, by the way. Um, she did give me a discount and then she gave me this guy for free. So those are all the puzzles that I got while I was at the national competition. I had so much fun. Again, I'll have a whole dedicated video talking about it, walking you through it. I do some video when I was there and we're just waiting on some footage as well while I was there from other people. So that's what the plan is. I hope you are doing well. I hope you had a fantastic weekend and did some puzzling. I did over 5,000 pieces so I was there over three days, which is wild to think about. Um, so you'd think I'd be sick of puzzling, but but I'm not. I'm already on puzzle number two since I've been home. So that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next one.